Welcome to the second edition of Productronica Web TV. Our topic today is automotive electronics, and who better to answer our questions than Dr. Eric Miser of the VDMA Productronic Trade Association. Hello, Mr. Miser. Hello. You're a member of the Productronica Advisory Board. How is electronics engineering faring in this current slightly difficult market environment? Pretty good. We predicted 3% growth for 2013 and for 2014 over 8%. The driving forces in the field are automotive and industrial electronics. And the innovative strength continues unabated with the manufacturers. Is this impression correct? Yes, innovation in production is the core business of the German engineering and electronics production. There is a nice challenging environment as we see here at Productronica. I would be pleased to show you that. Where shall we start? With Speyer, I'd say. Very well. Hello, Mr. Winkler. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Can you please tell us what is new here at the trade fair? You see here a multifunctional inline test cell for the testing of electronic assemblies. The application range is anywhere where large quantities are produced. The inline test cell consists of a classic needle bed test system, like here on the right, and an innovative high speed flying probe test system. Mr. Winkler, where is the flying test system applied in the automotive test sector? This is the classic combination, which we offer here in this test cell. Highest speed and contacting of the smallest geometries. And we also have an innovation here on this system for the testing of LEDs. We can check the colors of LEDs and the intensity. A very important factor in the test for structural components from the automotive sector. The driver will like it. Mr. Winkler, thank you very much for the information. So we've seen how to test LEDs and now we go to Hitachi to see how LED packages are produced. Okay. So now we're at Hitachi. Mr. Dommel, what's new about the Hitachi LED production? The new components in LED technology require a click of the cameras from top to bottom and from bottom to top, and a joint connection using algorithms to implement these components accurately. And where are the LEDs used in the automotive industry? The automotive sector has several areas in which LEDs are used. We have the inside light, which influences one's mood, and then the rear light and the front light. How does the consumer benefit? Firstly, the consumer is safer because there are multiple LEDs. It is not only a single lamp. So if the lamp fails, then they still have about two thirds or three quarters of the light. The other advantage is that you can convert a lot of electronics with LEDs to open various functions, which we did not have previously, like swivel headlights and various covers. Mr. Dommel, thank you for the illuminating information. Pleasure. Thank you. The VDMA has organized a special show on the subject of automotive electronics for Productronica. Slogan of the show is Electronics as Competitive Differentiator. What's that exactly? Each car has four wheels and a steering wheel, but you have to come up with something more to win over a customer. Like things that you know from consumer electronics, brilliant displays, mobile phones, Wi-Fi, great audio, and something really special, for example, an LED roof liner. Roof liner LEDs, exciting. Before we continue our tour, we will show you some impressions of this special show. Rattling, shaking, dust, and cold. Construction machines are exposed to extreme conditions. At the VDMA special show of automotive electronics at Productronica 2013, the focus is on new technologies, which must meet the highest requirements of electronics. The four technology trends, power electronics, sensors, interior and LEDs, and flexible electronics. The expectations of long life expectancy of automotive technology are high. An important starting condition is the high quality of the components right from the beginning of production. The stencil printer from the company DEK Printing Machines Company should provide that. The stencil printer is the first process in electronics manufacturing and one of the most important. 
that also greatly determines the yield, the quality of the electronics production. So it's very important that one checks the materials here in the printing process, to check the process precisely. And these are the most important scenes which we will show you here with the printing system. Wire bonding is widely used in semiconductor technology. Wire bonds are in all cell phones or USB sticks. For bonding electric motors, the giant bonder from F&K Delvotech uses much stronger wires, which can carry currents of up to 200 amperes. The bonding of electrical motors offers great potential. First and foremost, the major advantage of this procedure for electric vehicles is that the connections we can produce from battery cell to battery cell are extremely reliable. There are also other procedures such as laser welding, soldering, brazing and screws. All these procedures are either much more expensive or not as reliable or even both. It is functional, stylish and easy to use. Flexible electronics changes the interiors of cars of the future. The great advantages of the touch panel in the car, it replaces the classic switches and buttons with a touch slide in which all functions are integrated. New design possibilities and low production costs are another plus of this innovative technology. The excavators of the future also offer new design possibilities. Powerful LED lights or a colored LED sky in the driver's cab. Stretchable electronics or intelligent power electronics. The VDMA special show at Productronica shows how the electronics of tomorrow provides differentiation possibilities. Our tour is slowly coming to an end. Mr. Miser, do you have another highlight for us? Yes, we definitely must take a look at Rofin. Rofin, the laser manufacturer? Yes, exactly. Lasers are universal tools and are, of course, perfect for electronics production. We should look at that. Hello, Mr. Geiger. Hello. What sort of device is that? This is a special ultra-short pulse laser for the manufacture of ultra-small precision components. Can we see that? With the help of lasers, complex shapes can be machined quickly and virtually free of power. The procedure is distortion low and makes reworking redundant. The result? Ultra-fine cuts with high precision. Which components of automotive electronics can you still produce with this laser? For the new trend of electric mobility, we cut with the laser battery films, which are afterwards inserted into the housing and then welded with the laser. As a further example, I can show you an injector, with which we cut the most ultra-fine holes with the smallest diameters in the component. Fascination with precision at Productronica. Thank you, Mr. Geiger. Pleasure. Mr. Miser, if you reminisce about our tour after the adage automotive electronics, what is your conclusion? We've seen that automotive electronics is an exciting topic, but it is not only important for the electronics production to produce at low cost, but also sustainably. This means that the machine builders have to get economics and ecology in harmony. Is this true all over the world? Yes, absolutely. For German engineering, we have 75% export quota, but electronics is always produced in foreign markets, so it applies worldwide. The internationality of the fair is very high, both exhibitors and visitors, and that's what makes a good show. This means that Productronica meets these criteria. It is a great show. Thank you very much, Mr. Miser, for your time. That's it from us today. Tomorrow we look at, amongst other things, why the energy revolution will be impossible without coil winding, cord and plug-ins. So, see you tomorrow.